Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boylan Ke or welcome to the NIU Convocation Center for the second game of our doubleheader in the DeKalb Super Sectional at Northern Illinois University. I'm George St. John alongside Harrison North. We're here to give you this matchup between the Boylan Catholic Titans and and the Adelaide Stevenson Patriots. Harrison. This is going to be a fantastic matchup. The winner of this super sectional game goes on to the state tournament this Friday at Bradley University. And Harrison, this is just a huge game between two evenly matched teams. On paper, you can't pick. You can't pick and you can't pick a winner. You say Stevenson has a small edge. What do you think is going to be the key to the game for the Titans to win tonight? Well, for the key of the Titans is shut down Jalen Brunson. He is scoring 21.9 points per game, and they need to shut him down for them to have a good shot of winning this game. Thank you, Harrison. And again, Jalen Jalen Brunson is undoubtedly the star for the Stevenson Patriots. And there he is announcing the starting lineups, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the rest. Number one, Jim for the Patriots, a 6'3 junior, number 20, Matt Morrissey. For the Titans, a 6'3 junior, number 4, Brad Stoll. For the Patriots, a 6'3 senior, number 21, And now we are set to roll on the floor for the Titans. Number four, Brock Stull. Number 25, Drew Garkey. Number 35, Ben Greigel. Number one, Jim Bridges. And number 11, Demarcus Vines. First, Stevenson. Number one, five, Jalen Robinson. 
Number 20, Matt Morrison. And we are set to go. Ball passed around. Immediately, Stevenson pulls up for three. Shot by number 20, Matt Morrissey is good. Vines, looks. He's got Garkey up top. Boylan using their motion offense, passing the ball around very well. Stoll loses control but gets it back. Guarded closely by Morrissey. Shots up by Greigel. Mid-range. No good. Rebounded by Garkey. Shoots it back up. Rebounded by Kraft. Or Duffy, pardon me. And Morrissey scores again. He's got the first five points for Stevenson. Up with it is Stull. He shoots mid-range. No. But Grigo has it with the tip in and one. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. And Greigel makes his first free throw of the game. So the score, Stevenson 5, Boylan 3. Brunson has the ball up top to Kashaw. He shoots a floater. No good. Rebounded by Jim Bridges. Vines has it and will go the other way. Boylan moving the ball around very well. Download to Brock Stoll, and the foul will be called on Kashaw. Vines will inbound for the Titans to Jim Bridges. And he loses control, and Stevenson has it. And again, Brunson, the son of former NBA player Rick Brunson, is undoubtedly, even as a sophomore, the star for this team as he puts on some fancy moves against Demarcus Vines, but he loses the ball. Brock still has it. Vines looks, decides not to shoot the three. Guard closely by Morrissey. Bridges shoots down low. Cannot get the friendly roll. Driving is Brunson. Shoots a mid-range there. No good. Rebounded by Stull. He's going the other way with it. Jim Bridges up with it. Won't go. So a fast break in. Stuffed by the rim there is Green. Grago. And a lot of contact inside by both teams. The referees are letting him play tonight as Brunson takes it. Jim Bridges gets the steal there. Second turnover, pardon me, third turnover of the night for Stevenson. Grigo loses that one. And a turnover heads the other way. And now we have some substitutions. Green sits down for Stevenson. Kashaw is back in the game. John Paris and Frank Semino get their first action for the Titans. 
Paris, a sophomore, has been stellar coming off the bench for the Titans. And he's going to be big tonight against Stevenson's bigs. Stull in trouble, but he gets it to Greigel. Vines wide open for three. He takes it. Won't go. Morrissey has a rebound for Stevenson. Shots up by Kashaw. That's good for three. So in the early going here, the Patriots up eight to three in the first four minutes of the game. Vines drives. Up with it. A beautiful layup by Demarcus Vines. Cutting through the defense and getting some points. And Brunson is blocked by Ben Gragel, but the but the blocking foul will be called. That foul on John Paris. Seemingly had just gotten in there for the charge. It was a close call. And Brunson gets the benefit of the doubt. Brunson has no trouble with the Titan student section making that point. Brunson's shooting 78% from the free throw line this year. Not a guy you want to foul, Harrison. Even so, he is at the line here. And he rims out. One of two from the free throw line is Brunson. Vines looking to John Paris. And he is called for a travel. Took one step too many. Jalen Brunson has a ball. Stemple guarded closely by Brock Stull. Kashaw goes up with it. He is blocked by Ben Gragel. Going the other way is Boylan. Gragel up with it going the other way. The one-two defensive offensive punch by Ben Gragel there. First calling in the SWAT team and then getting some points of his own. Shot by Morrissey. No good from three. He's a good three-point shooter. Doesn't make that one, though. Vines to Semino. Boylan moving the ball around as Brock Stell shoots a deep three, and he's got it. As Brock Stull's 64th shot made from downtown. Boylan has a one-point lead here, 10-9. to nine. Titans on top. Shots up by Brunson, no good. And it's off of Stevenson. Titans have it going the other way. Now three new Titans will check in. Drew Garkey, number 22, Demery Croft, and number 34, Callan Kenny, the senior. Samino shoots a three in the corner. Yes! Frank Samino hitting from downtown. And the Titans are riding high in this first quarter. 13-9 the score. Kashaw shoots the three. He can't connect. Morrissey has a rebound. Back up with it. No good. <laughs> and the block. And number 22, Duffy. Demery Croft sends that away with authority. Now number 25, Green will check into the game. Duffy will sit down.
Brunson drives. Wide open is Kashaw for three. That connects. Semino to Garkey. Croft drives. He goes up with it. Leaves his defender on his feet and scores. Demery Croft. Brunson shoots a deep two. That's no good. Rebounded by Morrissey. For three is Stemple. And he scores there. Semino drives. He is blocked by Kashaw and it's off the backboard. And now the Titans will send in some, some subs for the final 24 seconds. Demarcus Vines and Ben Graggle now in the game for the Titans. Along with Croft, Stull, and Garkey. Coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Hello and welcome back. I'm George St. John alongside Harrison North. Again, your score. Oh, 
Your score 41-33. Harrison, an overwhelming show by the Boylan Titan student section here doing the Harlem Shake. Nico Flores out front right there. Boylan Jr. Harrison, hit me with some halftime stats. Oh yeah, for Stevenson we've got Brunson with 13, Morrissey with 5, Stemple with 12, Keshaw with 11, and for Boylan we've got Bridges with 2, Stoll with 9, Vines with 2, Garkey with 4, Gregor with 11, Semino with 3, and Croft with 2. Thank you, Harrison. And so the Titans are down a little bit, but they're not out. It's been a close game throughout. Jalen Brunson, though, taking control in that first half. What does Ben Greigel and the rest of the Titans have to do to take the momentum back in this game? They have to come out like they did in the first quarter and play tough, tight, tough and tight defense on on Brunson and Stemple on the outside. Thank you, Harrison. We're about five minutes away from the second half. And Andrew Stemple, we talk about Jalen Brunson, and he's definitely worth the mentioning, but Stemple's having a great night too. Four three-pointers tonight. They were, Boylan was unable to shut him down until late in the second quarter. What do they got to do to keep him on ice? You just got to uh, get out of the 1-2-2 the one, two, one, two, two that Boylan was playing, play man, so they can play him closer on the outside. Thank you again, Ben Gragel, the leading scorer for the Titans with 11 points. The Titans got to feed him the ball more. It seems like Stevenson doesn't have the bigs to compete with Boylan's. You know, Kashaw's had a solid game. But other than that, you know, it's 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 all Gragel's game down low. What do they gotta do to keep feeding him? Just gotta keep on giving getting him looks and seeing when he's open, and that'll that'll help us a lot. Who else do you think needs to step up tonight? I think Jim Bridges needs to step up a little more. He's had a couple uh, layups missed in the first quarter that could have helped Boylan a lot. And that's, he's going to have to step up. Both student sections are fired up for, for the beginning of the second half. And Harrison, you know, as I said before in the 3A game between limestone and st francis only the bottom bowl is filled up but still this place is absolutely electric both teams representing themselves very well representing themselves very well you know boylan seems to have a little bit more of a representation is that going to factor in at all uh it might but it's both student sections are really loud right now so It'll be up to the team to see who comes out on top. And again, Harrison, the winner of this game, going on to the IHSA Class 4A Final Four in Peoria, Illinois, Bradley University. Uh, the Final Four games start on Friday. Third place and state championship games on Saturday. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Be sure to tune in for those games on IHSA.TV. We're going to take a break before the, se before the second half begins. You're watching Portland Titan Basketball on IHSA.TV.
We have a score in progress for you uh, in the 4A bracket. A couple scores, actually. At Chicago State, Winnetka Nutrier trailing Chicago Simeon by 5, 52-57, with 2.10 left in the fourth quarter. Again, former Boylan basketball player Aaron Angel now at New Trier playing against Jabari Parker and Simeon. At the Hinsdale, at the Hinsdale bracket, West Aurora up over against Proviso East by one at the half, 24-23. And Edwardsville High School is absolutely taking over Chicago Heights Marion 33 to 55 as we have started this second quarter we're going to keep giving you these scores as they progress Brunson has the ball to Morrison shot by Stemple he misses for three Garkey going the other way to Vines Brock Stoll shoots that one, cannot get the friendly roll. Morrison <laughs> gets the rebound. And Harrison, DeMarcus Vines, and Brock Stoll were the heroes of Thursday night's game between Crystal Lake Central, each having 18 points. Brock Stoll to Drew Garkey to Bridges. They're moving the ball around very well. Ben Greigel fed inside and scores. So Ben Graggle's got 13 points tonight. Brunson double team. Ball's lost by Stemple. Garkey has it. Titans have numbers. Stoll goes up with it. He scores. Brock Stoll. We got a four point ball game. Titans coming out with guns blazing in the second half. Kashaw has the ball up top. Got it closely by Graggle. Shots up by Jalen Brunson. He can't score. Rebound by Morrison. Ball's lost to Stemple. He has the easy two and he has it. Brock Stoll putting the moves on with the floater. Yes! Brock Stoll for two. Shots up by Brunson. It's good, the inside floater. Vines drives. Up with that contact, but no foul. Brunson going the other way with it. Morrison gets a pass and scores. So after the short run by Boylan, Stevenson answers with one of their own. Garkey. Ben Graggle's open for three. Yes! Ben Graggle. Poor Trace. And there's a timeout by Boylan. 30 second timeout. We are going to keep it right here. Your score now 47 42. Patriots up by five. And Harrison, Ben Graggle and Connor Kashaw. You got two centers on your team, and both of them can hit the three. How is that going to factor in for the rest of the game tonight? That's going to be a big factor because not many centers can do that. So that just adds an element of surprise for each team. And fortunately and unfortunately for both teams, two athletic centers that can A, defend out there, and B, shoot out there. So that's going to be a fun matchup to watch between Kashaw and Greigel. Brunson guarded closely by Vines. They're getting physical with, with each other. Garkey on Morrison. 
Kashaw loses it. Vines has it. Boylan's got numbers. Vines to Gregolin. He is fouled. Still passes to Gregel, to Gerke, Vines. Back to Brock Still, he's open for three. No good, rebounded by Kashaw. Cameron Green has a rebound, and now Stevenson's headed the other way. Kashaw up with it, and he's got the points. And one. <laughs> so now Kashaw at the line for the three point play. And he makes it. The Patriots have 50. So Vines is going to slow it down for the Titans. Four minutes left in the third quarter. 42-50 your score. Garkey drives. Up with it. Gets the friendly roll. And it's in Drew Garkey. Stevenson passing the ball around. Brunson down low. Can't make the contested layup. And we got a foul. That foul up. That foul is on Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Brock Stowe will bring the ball across half court. Put some moves on Morrissey with the floater. No good. And the rebound is picked up by Kashaw of Stevenson. Going the other way is Stemple. He shoots. Pull up jumper is good. So the Patriots again with an eight point lead. We have a final for you from Chicago State. Simeon is moving on over New Trier, 63 to 54. Your final. And again, Ed Edwardsville seemingly, seemingly on to victory against Chicago Heights Marion, 33-55. Vines at the line to shoot two. Second foul called on Jalen Brunson. And Vines misses the first free throw. Vines is a 60% free throw shooter on the season. 55 of 92. Now 56 of 93. Brunson to Kashaw. The kind of green, he scores. Patriots up by nine. Titans got to put something together fast so they're not in a deep fourth quarter hole. And that's a way to start. Demarcus Vines for going for the three-point play. And that is the third foul on Jalen Brunson. He's got to be careful as Vines misses there. 
And the foul will be called on Ben Gregel. That's, that's his first foul. Brunson shoots a long two, won't go. And Boylan's got it. Stevenson last to touch it. Must apologize, I made a mistake on the score of a previous game. Edwardsville does end up going on to beat Chicago Heights. 68 to 49. So Edwardsville and Simeon are moving on. As is the winner of this game. Stull misses there. And it is going to Stevenson. 54-47, your score. Patriots up by seven points. Oh. And that shot by Morrissey is sent into the bleachers by Ben Gragel. What a block there. We've seen that. That is his fourth block of the game. Unbelievable. We've seen that from him all season. But here it is again. And we have a timeout by Stevenson. Thirty second timeout, so we will keep it right here. Your score still 54-47. And welcome back. Again, your score, 54-47. Stevenson has the lead. And now John Paris in the game for the Titans. Stevenson keeps the same group. And so Brunson with three fouls. How do the Titans draw that fourth before the fourth quarter comes around? They just gotta play tough defense, or just. Stemple scores again there. That's his 16th points of the night. Morrissey to Stemple. Brunson drives. Kishaw guarded by Samino. A definite height mismatch here. But Semino doesn't mind. Green up with that. And just like that, Stevenson has the biggest lead of the night. 58-47 the score. Again, the winner of this game going on to play Edwardsville. At Carver Arena in Peoria. Semino to Greigel. And now Garkey will, will replace Paris in the game. 15 seconds to go in the third quarter. 58-47. Patriots have the lead. Vines up with it. No good. Contact inside. No foul. And that is the end of the third quarter. Your score, 58-47. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Shot. 
can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. A Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Vines, drives around to Garkey. And we have a traveling call on Kashaw. Pardon me, that's green. Thank you. Vines drives around to Still. Eight point game. Gregel has it and he is fouled. The Titans are now in the bonus and a great free throw shooting team. Collectively, they shoot 63%. Gregel at the line and he scores. Uh, 
And just like that, we have a six point game. The Titans are back in this. And the Portland Faithful is on their feet, supporting their Titans. What a game this has been. Your score, 54-60. Patriots holding on to a slowly slimming lead. Six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. The Titan faithful getting loud in this gym. As is Stevenson. Kashaw has the ball. Got it closely by Greigel. To Morrissey. Drives around Vines. He's hand checked and fouled. That's Vines' third foul. And that ball is off of Garkey out of bounds. Stevenson has it. Kashaw. To Bergson. 35 drives around. He is fouled by Ben Dragel. Kashaw is shooting 77% on the season. So he's a very solid free throw shooter. And he makes his first. The lead goes up to seven. Second shot away and good. Eight point lead for the Stevenson Patriots. Demarcus Vines headed the other way with it. To Greigel. He is apparently not fouled. The referees say no. Morrissey looks to Berkson. Kashaw drives. To Morrissey. He misses. And Brock still has it, but he was on the line. Stevenson gets the ball. Five minutes left. The final five minutes of one team's season. Right now it's looking like the Titans, but things can change in a hurry. Garkey fouls there. Titan fans do not like it. Stemple will inbound for the Patriots. Looking to claw their way back. At the Hinsdale Central Super Sectional, Proviso East up 45 to 31 against West Aurora. Eight, the fourth quarter has just begun. The winner of that game goes on to play Simeon. Winner of our game goes on to play Edwardsville. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to apologize for the technical difficulties 
considering our audio system. Everything is back, and we assure you that it will not happen again. Thank you very much. Kasha to Berkson. Stevenson passing the ball around very well. Kasha shoots to Morrissey. Rims out. And the rebound by Cameron Green is good. Ten-point game with four minutes to go. Titans have to find something quick. Garkey shoots a three. Won't go. Driving around is Berkson. And that ball is out of bounds. Titans have it. Vines running the point. 335 left to go in the game. 10 points, the margin. Brock Stoll open for three. He hits it! Brock Stoll for three! Timeout Boylan. Full timeout. We're going to keep it right here. 64 54, or 64 57, your score. After that three from Stull. Harrison, it's another crazy game. Everyone's heart rate's just going a little bit up. One of those games you got to love. This is high school basketball at its finest. Titans looking to claw their way back. Stevenson trying to hang on. It's going to be a fun one from here on out. Three and a half minutes left. That's plenty of time for. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot. Brunson has four fouls, as well as 15 points. He's a big key to what they're doing here. But they were able to hold on without him. Now the Titans have to contend with the star. Kashaw. Gets it across court. Morrissey. The drive and the foul by Greigel. Andrew Stemple guilt, guilty of that foul. Brunson inbounding to Kashaw. He can't get it. Up with it is Cameron Green. Titans got to hurry up here. Three minutes to go. Got to make something happen. Coach Mike Winters watching nervously, waiting for his team to find that moment. Garkey shoots a three. That's it. Drew Garkey hits the triple. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Drew Garkey's in the building, folks. Kashaw going the other way with it. Titans wanted a backcourt violation. That's a turnover. Titans going the other way with it. Stull. Up leader. No good. Rebounded by Stevenson. Cameron Green goes after and the foul by Ben Greigel. That is his fourth foul. He has to be careful. So now Cameron Green at the line for the Patriots. Green. 
So both teams in the bonus now. Cameron Green shoots his first. No good. Rebounded by Drew Garkey. Going the other way with his vines. Knows he's got time. Semino guarded closely by Brunson. Contact there. Greigel open off the glass. It's good. So Ben Greigel scores there. Now the Titans will use his own press. And Stevenson calls a timeout. They'd like to adjust. This is a four-point basketball game, ladies and gentlemen. No one in this room can believe what they're seeing. The Titans came back from seemingly the grave to be only down four. Harrison, what do they have to do to finish the job? They just got to keep on doing what they're doing. Whatever they're doing right now, it is working. Thank you very much, Harrison. Everyone in this building has blood pressure through the roof. This is a nervous Nervous game. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you don't cheer for these teams. This game is wicked crazy. <laughs> now both teams headed back out. Both teams again looking to reach the state championship tournament in Peoria, Illinois, this Friday. The winner of this game will play at 8.30 against Edwardsville High School. Brunson drives. And Garkey gets called for the foul there. That's his third foul. So Jalen Brunson is at the free throw line now. Shooting 75% tonight. Makes his first. And Brunson scores. Vines going the other way with it. And three bounds. And Greigel is fouled. He's got two shots at the line. Foul number 25, Cameron Green. Dragle makes the first. And the second. So now Colin Kenny replaces Ben Gragel after the free throws. 136 to go in this game. Stevenson still on top. But the Titans clawing the lead. Full court press here by the Titans. Brunson drives. Up with it. No good. Rebounded by Stevenson. That won't go either. And Kashaw is fouled by Frank Samino. Just like that, the fate of the Titans rests on these free throws. Counter Kashaw. And he makes the first.
He is four for four tonight. Solid free throw shooter, not the guy you want to foul. So a six point lead for the Patriots. Up 70 to 64. Brock still drives to Vines. Ben Grigo open for three. Yes! Ben Grigo's got the three. It's a three point basketball game. And a timeout by Stevenson. Just like that, this game down to one possession. With just under a minute to go. 70 to 67. I cannot believe what I am seeing. And here we are. Seventy to sixty-seven. Harrison, what do the Titans run here on defense? They have to get a stop to stay in this game. They gotta play man-to-man -man press, full court press, and then they gotta play man-to-man -man, a tight man-to-man -man down by the basket. This game setting up for an epic finale. Whoever the winner is, can Stevenson hold on? Can Boylan take control of this game for good and come back to win? Boylan down by as much as 11. Down now by three. This is a one possession ball game. The roof is coming off the NIU Convocation Center. Here we go. Brunson drives around to Gashaw. Shaw drives. Morrissey is fouled by Drew Garkey. It's Garkey's fourth foul. For Drew Garkey, that was a that was a smart foul. Morrissey's only shooting 65% from the line for her of the year. And he misses there. Titans are still alive. Ben Gragel in the game for Kenny. He misses both free throws. to Vines drives to Frank Semino and Semino loses it with 15.7 seconds to go Frank Semino with the errant pass Colin Kenny now in for Ben Gragel. Brunson. Brunson lowering his shoulder into the Boylan defender. But a defensive foul called a blocking foul. Blocking foul called there. Brunson's at the line. Brunson at the line. And he makes the first. That makes 20 points on the night for Jalen Brunson. He misses the second. 
Sainz going up with it. And Stevenson. Stevenson has control of this game. Two seconds to go. This season for the Boylan Titans coming to an end. Kashaw at the line. And he makes the free throw. And that's your ball game. Your score. Stevenson, 73, Boylan, 67. We'll be back in a little bit with halftime stats and, or post-game stats and analysis. information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. One shot. We can get a player up here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard right. graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? You start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 
one match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Once again, we'd like to thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be here with you guys tonight. On behalf of Harrison and myself, the entire program at IHSA.TV, affiliated with Play On Sports, we'd like to say goodnight to you. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless.